All right, so we just got this new G79 66 SCVI. So this is, uh, oh, I got some tape left on the door from the template. I gotta peel that off. Um, so we just got this in. Uh, this is the top of the line uh, Miele, uh fully integrated dishwasher. So this is, um, I think this is all the bells and whistles you can currently get on a Miele. Um, probably uh, most notably is this, is this updated control panel. So uh, I'll turn it off so you guys can see this. So we get this really cool lit up um, Miele logo. And of course, with this version, you have standard, the knock to open function. Uh, cool if you're, I guess, doing a European kitchen without handles or European style kitchen without handles. Uh, otherwise, probably kind of a useless feature or maybe fun to show your friends at parties. So uh, what you would do is you'd come over here, you'd hold that down. And then unlike the, um, the couple of models below this, which also have glass controls, those you're gonna, you've got a readout with some sensors that will interact with that readout. This on the other hand is actually a, um, an actual touch screen. Am I hitting that right? There we go. Um, we can actually scroll through all of our various uh, options here. So this is for the sensor wash, but if I hit the back button, uh, let me see if I can do this for the camera. Here we are. We've got, uh, let's see, normal, pots and pans, China Crystal, Quick Intense, Santa Wash, Rinse and Hold, Extra Quiet, Eco, uh, an Energy Saver mode, a uh, filter cycle for cleaning your Mila hood filters. Um, there was a clean machine, a sensor wash, tall items, and then glass, no rinse aid, which I'm guessing is for um, is for your wine glasses where you might not want to use rinse agent. Um, so pretty, pretty neat display. This is actually pretty responsive. It's very fast. Uh, it takes the inputs, it goes to the next screen really, really fast. Um, gives us all of our options. So here we are, if we hit express, our, our time drops down. Um, we can add the intense zone, I guess, if the maybe the uh, express isn't selected. That adds some additional time because it's adding additional pressure to that lower wash arm. Um, let's see, auto dose is turned on. So like all of the, um, the more premium meal dishwashers, you have this uh, power disc option which we've been using on the um, on the employee uh, lounge area with the uh, G7366. Uh, this is really cool. This um, comes, you get one of these with the machine, you get about a month's worth of detergent per one of these these little pucks. Um, I think right now, or at least until the end of the year, Meal was giving you a six month supply. I'm hoping they'll continue that for a little bit in the beginning of next year. Um, but these are, these are really nice. So we don't have to add detergent for every cycle like we would ordinarily. Uh, so we could put standard detergent, just like we can in every other dishwasher on the planet. Um, or we can turn the power disc function on and then allow Mila to uh, dispense detergent from here, from here, and here. And uh, it, it does a very nice job. So we haven't activated the water softener. So previous dishwashers we've used here, because we've got moderately hard to hard water, we can get a film uh, or build up on the inside of the dishwasher rather quickly. Glasses get a little cloudy, silverware gets a little cloudy, doesn't dry very well. Uh, turning the, or activating the water softener in our previous Fisher Paykel uh, fixed all of that. Actually had really great results, cleaning results. Um, and actually that, I think we actually had it for about seven years and it was very reliable. Love the Fisher Paykel dishwashers. But anyhow, so we've, we've been using this now for the last like, I don't know, six weeks on that G7366. And not only does it do a phenomenal job of cleaning, uh, we're not getting any oxidation buildup on the glassware, the silverware, uh, the inside of the dishwasher, and it's drying phenomenally. Uh, it's also kind of something I don't think they're talking about is it's doing a great job of deodorizing. So normally when you don't run your dishwasher very often uh, and you've got coffee cups and things like we've got in the office here kind of building up, which is why we like the dish drawers, um, you know, it takes us a few days to, to get enough to where we feel comfortable running a, a full load. Um, this, uh, this, when you open up the dishwasher, you get a powerful uh, hit of the um, of the detergent smell, so that's a it's actually a kind of an unintended unintended benefit uh, from the power disc system, but we love. 
so in addition to those really nice controls and the power disc system, uh, this model also comes with a uh, with a five year warranty. Now Milo will um, sell you an extended warranty in any one of the models, I, I believe for like it's probably between like $250, $350. Um, so this one, uh, the range topping price, they're going to throw that in there. It helps hopefully take a little bit of this thing away from the um, from the higher price point. Um, you can see you get these beautiful stainless steel accents on the hand grip. Um, not useful, but uh, it's kind of nice to have it. Um, just like previous higher end models, both of these rows here are foldable. So in the um, in the lower end models, um, maybe below the 75s, like the 71 and the 73, um, the 49s, the 4228s, this will be fixed. So um, here, both this row and this row are foldable. Um, just like previous generations, you do get this really nice thing where the dishwasher is kind of happy to see you. Um, this is a piece that would be designed for holding uh, sports bottles or a vase, or they call it a tall item holder. Um, previous generations, this this row was removable, but I think the problem is, and I, I actually watched a lot of my coworkers who aren't as familiar with this dishwasher, um, might pull that out to show somebody that it comes out, but then they can't figure it figure out how to put it back in. It wasn't that complicated, but it probably caused enough issues and enough phone calls to customer service that they just said, you know, let's just nix it and, and leave it fixed. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever taken mine out at home. Uh, so I don't think anybody's going to miss it, to be honest with you. Um, just like previous generations, you get two additional small uh, stemware slash cup shells in the front. So you get just like the um, the 71 and the, uh, the 73, you've got uh, these, these two cup shells with little stemware grippies uh, on either side. Uh, the 75 and the 79 have two additional. Um, here again, you're getting that... Um, these are probably for uh, fluted champagne glasses. So you can do a row of champagne glasses here and then a second row folded in front of it. Uh, that will also come, I'm guessing, on the 75 in addition to the 79. Um, and I think that's it for changes in the lower portion. Up top, uh, my new favorite feature is that this row of tines um, in the 71 and I, th and I think on the, well, 73 and I think on the 71, you've got the ability to fold half of those down so that you've now got a place. So finally, we can, we can nest uh, these, these kind of deeper cereal bowls in, in Amila. On this model, um, and again, I'm going to guess on the 75 as well, uh, we've got an additional row of foldable uh, tines so that we can actually stack even more cereal bowls. Now that does crowd this area a little bit, so you may not be able to put super large glasses to the right uh, when you do that, but but uh, having owned Amila for, I don't know, 13 years and these never having a great place to nest in Amila, that's, that's actually a very welcome feature. I kind of wish they would do that down below maybe as well. Um, the uh, longer cup shelves. So um, previous generations, that split. Now, when you split this, this cup shelf, it had like two little plastic things that folded and they kind of ate up some real estate. So it looks like they've done away with the split option and gone with a, a longer uh, cup shelf, just like the um, 71, the 73, 75. So they all share these guys. And of course, the big update here is that you're going to have grips for, um, for uh, putting stemware up top, which is really nice. Uh, but again, not really a change from the lower end models. The main difference is just this extra uh, row of foldable tines so that you can do more cereal bowls um, up top. The upgraded three uh, silver tray that you'll have in the rest of the 7 Series or 7000 Series dishwashers. So no real change there. And that is pretty much it. Um, if I can come up with anything else or if you guys have any questions specific to this model that I can try to answer, let me know in the uh, in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Thank you so much and uh, hope to see you guys next time.